Hey y'all, so today we are taking down Christmas decor. We have got to take it down. I don't want to, but we have to. It's necessary in order to get this house together. I'm taking everything down. I'm deep cleaning the house so we can have a clean slate so that later on, not in this video, but later on in a future video, we can make it beautified by decorating it again because that's the fun part, right? <laughs> We're starting here in the living room. I've got some totes. I didn't buy these totes. I actually am reusing them from the girl's bedroom. I got them last year during Christmas time. They're these and I use them for under their bed. But since we did their makeover and they have better storage, I'm just reusing those so I don't have to go spend money on new totes. In the words of Rafiki, it is time. Anybody else just randomly quote Lion King? I, I do that all the time. I'm feeling a little bit grinchy today. I don't want to take it down. But it is mid-January and it's time for me to get 2023 together. And in order to get my life completely together and this house completely together, it's got to come down. After the girls make over, it's feeling super chaotic-y and cluttery in here. And I just, I want a clean slate. So while I really love my Christmas stuff and I don't, Lord knows I don't want to take it down, I need to for my brain. I just keep reminding myself that I have the joy living within me and I can be in the daggone Christmas spirit all day on year long. So we're gonna happily, <laughs> I'm faking it till I make it, <laughs> we're gonna happily take this Christmas stuff down and prepare for 2023, get the house together, do the daggone thing even when we don't feel like doing it and know that in the long run it'll work out in our favor because once we have a clean slate we can start the fun stuff. The, the taking down stuff is just never fun. We're gonna make it fun though. We're gonna fake it till we make it today. I am so excited to undecorate my tree. I'm anxious to see the progression while editing this if I actually get more excited the further along we go. All right, dun, 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 dun. I also picked a really good day to undecorate for Christmas because it's the first actual snow of the year going on and there's ice pelting my porch right now. Can you hear it? Let me see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all hear it. I ain't snowed a daggone day but one, okay, here in Tennessee. And the day I take my Christmas decor down, it's gonna snow. It is pelting ice. Shane is battling the ice because there was a video game that he really wanted to get. So on his way home, he's stopping to get the video game instead of coming home. He's going to slide all the way home. That is icy though. I'm going to come to check on him. Pause. Hello? Babe, are you sure the One Piece game is worth this? What? I just want you to get home in One Piece. That's cute. Is that a <laughs> Um, it's only ice in here. Shane, our porch is covered. Yeah, it ain't doing anything over here. Our porch is legitimately covered in oh, ice I, and snow. I literally just now pulled in. I'll grab it and then come home, okay? Now, your normal everyday average YouTuber would probably make this look a lot cuter than I'm going to. They probably have a better system, all that good stuff, you know, really good stuff. I have to go with my gut. So like, I'm a mood reader, so I had to read what I feel like reading. I have to clean what I feel like cleaning. Now, usually I do that in an orbiting method because I have ADHD, so I start on one room and I start at a point in the room and I make myself a circle, just, you know, rotating around the sun or vice versa. However, does the sun rotate around us? I don't know. I never know that when I when I go into this, this statement I'm about to say. <laughs> I rotate around and I usually stay on task. When it comes to doing two things, though, like taking down the decor and cleaning, I'm kind of just everywhere. So you're going to see me moving everywhere. I'm focusing on getting the Christmas decor down in one area. So I'm going to start with the Christmas decor in the main living area, the living room, dining room, and kitchen. And then I'm going to go in and clean it. But I'm not going to touch the Christmas decor in my bedroom or the bathroom until I'm done with the living room, dining room, and kitchen. Does that make sense? It don't make sense to me, but it did at the time of filming this. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm just everywhere. Also, I'm, I'm everywhere because I have a very tiny space and I've got to move stuff around in order to deep clean under it. So I've got to deep clean one side of the baseboards, then move my entire couch and chair over to the other side of the room and deep clean the other baseboards. It makes it complicated, but it, it all gets done in the video. So I'm at least grateful for that. Listen, if I have learned, I was about to say if I've learned anything in my 33 years of living, I'm not 33. What the heck? If I've learned anything in my 31 years on planet Earth, it's that it doesn't matter how it gets done as long as it gets done. And that's my motto for this video. Most of these bins look like they've either been shot by a shotgun or ran over by a freight train. But they still hold stuff and they still hold stuff pretty well. So I'm using these to avoid spending a daggone fortune at the Walmart on totes. Because totes are about as much as, I, I'm telling you, inflation has inflated 
totes. The process of totes. I don't know why. Maybe everybody's moving. I don't know. Out of the U.S. <laughs> but it, the totes are expensive. I ain't going and buying totes to do this whenever I have totes here. They just don't look pretty. Uh-uh. We ain't doing that. We're going to use these. They work good for under the bed. And that's exactly where we're going to store stuff because we got to get creative with storage in a mobile home. I'm in the market for a storage shed, an outdoor storage shed. I've been approved for one. I'm in the market looking for one, but I'm paying for it in cash. And I don't know if y'all have seen the process of those, but they're really expensive. So I'm looking for the perfect one, the perfect size and the perfect price. In the meantime, I had to get really creative with my storage and my Christmas stuff is being stored in two different places and it works out really well for me. So in a little while, you'll see it's being stored in my bathroom with the rest of my seasonal decor and then under my bed. And in the future, we're gonna do something really cool to kind of conceal the under bed storage. I grab Shane and some rope. <laughs> you do it in the trailer park. Well, oh, this ain't just a trailer park thing. I think a lot of people will tie stuff down like this. I don't know. Do y'all with proper uh, attics and basements tie your stuff down? Do y'all who don't live on cinder blocks tie your stuff down? <laughs> What's it like having a room below you? <laughs> Can you imagine your house like being able to go in your house under the ground in a basement? Like that's, oh, no, that's wild. Creepy. That is kind of creepy. I just think of the boiler room from Home Alone. Hello, Kevin! <laughs> Why are you wrapping it like a Christmas present? <laughs> that won't be enough to hold Shane, it. Shane, it will! It won't. It will! It won't. It will! It won't. Get the arms with me, Phyllis. Shane, there's no point in doing that! <laughs> All the point in the world, Phyllis. I can just see us in July of this year <laughs> when it comes back out. <laughs> Why do we ever do this? Why is it coming out in July? Because YouTubers decorate early. November, okay, realistically You November. know why else you do that? Check this out. Isn't that a good idea? <laughs> sure. Aren't you uh, jelly that you didn't think of it? Should be. Oh uh, yeah.
I would be shit. worried about not storing these wrapped or anything like that. If they were going to be moving around or in somewhere where it's heavily trafficked and I'd be having to move it to, in order to get something. But these will be back in that area and underneath my bed until next year. So I'm pretty confident that they'll be okay. I've boxed them up really, really neatly so they're not like falling over each other and cracking or anything. Especially Shane's village. I didn't want to mess that up. So I just stored what I could in the bins. I actually am going through and decluttering the stuff that was left in the bins from the last Christmas before this last one that I didn't end up using this year. So I'm going through and decluttering some of that stuff and then putting as much as I can in those red totes and then whatever I can't I'm boxing up like you saw me boxing Shane's Village up in that box. That will be going under the bed never to be touched again until next Christmas. I had stored a bunch of bags away because y'all one of you guys had told me store all your bags away to wrap everything in. Well it's hilarious how you can lose all those bags and like three months because <laughs> I don't know where they are and I have searched this house high and low for a big old bag full of empty bags and I cannot find it so I just resorted to storing it like this and hopefully it'll work out I took all the batteries out of most of the things that require batteries because another one of you guys saved my tail last year when it came to my fall decor you were like Marina go in there and take out all your batteries because you do not want a battery exploding I didn't even know batteries could explode so I appreciated that info so much there might have been a few things that I didn't take the batteries out of because I was listening to an audiobook while doing all this. There was one point I was really into that audiobook. I didn't even know I was in the world. I did everything on autopilot. So there might be some batteries left in some of the things, but I tried whenever I was cognitive <laughs> and in my own mind and in this own world, I tried taking out the batteries of the things I saw that had batteries in them because I remembered that advice from last year. While I'm getting all the stuff in the living room packed up, I'm also getting the little bit of stuff I have in the kitchen packed up. You're not seeing a lot of me going in there because there wasn't a whole lot to pack up, but I went ahead while while I was doing the living room and just got the kitchen stuff too so I could pack it all the way at once. Hey, bless his heart. I just wanted life. I just wanted gumdrops. I just wanted powder sugar. He's like floating down the lazy river. <laughs> Now that I have all the Christmas decor up in the main living area, it's time to deep clean this sucker. There's that steakhouse decor. <laughs> Pinterest has farmhouse, I have steakhouse. If you've been around a while, you know I'm constantly having my steakhouse decor out. This feels like old school fairly created. This feels like an old school fairly created cleaning video. In my defense, it looks like this because of the makeover that we just did. Everything got backed up and then we had Christmas stuff out. Putting everything away while the house was a mess was probably not the greatest idea, but it's how it it worked best for me at, on this day. Probably if I did it today, I would do it different, but it, that day it worked for me. I'm storing everything underneath the bed and everything fit underneath the bed and in that back corner of my closet. I was so happy with that because I was worried because this looked like a whole lot but there were some things that we could disassemble and kind of lessen the bulk of it so like we took it apart and we were able to like move it around and kind of play Tetris kind of and see where it kind of fit under the bed we're going to do a project in a couple of days and we're going to hide all this stuff out from under the bottom of the bed my frame is basic anyway the bed is very basic it's a very it's a good bed and it holds up my lard honey in <laughs> but so I was worried about it because it kind of looked aluminum at first and I was like oh snap <laughs> you know how them pans will pop in the oven and scare the holy far out of you whenever they get really like heated and expand that's what i was worried was gonna happen i was afraid i was gonna expand and it was just gonna go pop and it was like aluminum but it didn't this is where i stored the stuff in the bathroom and it worked really really well that bed going back to the bed we're gonna do something to that really soon and i'm really excited about it starting on the living room i'm going in and doing everything i can possibly do to get this really really tidy so we're kind of doing like a spring cleaning right before spring i guess in the smack dab middle of winter ain't it <laughs> i'm going through and doing all of the things i need to do in order to make it feel squeaky clean in here that rug you just saw me roll up isn't a rug that's going to hang around for a while it was this really cheap rug i found and i just put it underneath my ottoman because my ottoman was wanting to slide around a lot not so anymore because we have actually stored all of our middle grade books and our read aloud books in that ottoman we actually found something to store in there and that works really well we can just pop it open and get the new book we need for whatever read aloud we're reading or whatever Colton and the girls want to read. So that works really well for that. My goal here is to get the living room so clean you could eat off the floor. I'm not really ever going to eat off my floors. I've seen too much. I've been there, done that. 
nope. <laughs> I've seen way too much on my floors to eat off my floor. But I want to get it to where it's the illusion that, oh, that, th that sucker's clean. I can eat off that sucker. That's the look I'm going for in my living room today. You're going to see me cleaning with the all-purpose cleaner, the spray away, the wee man, <laughs> stainless steel cleaner, all of those chemicals. I'm trying to get my chemical stash down. I'm trying to use it all up so I can just go with straight vinegar, or soap, and water. That's the main goal for this year is to limit the chemicals in my house. But I do have a hefty, hefty stash that I need to go through because I don't, I don't want to waste it. That's a lot of money I've spent on that stuff and I don't, I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to go through that stash before I start doing my vinegar and soap and water thing. But that is the goal for this year is to limit the chemicals in my home. you guys that my living room just gives off the illusion that it's big it's not really that big maybe for a smaller single wide it is but it's not really that big it's just my flooring really made my house look way bigger than it actually is but I'm moving everything around to get to the opposite side of the walls and since I've already moved this couch over here I'm just going to leave it there for now until I can get in here and decorate it the way I want to it's not going to stay this way because I like the couch in front right in front of the tv but it was just easier to do this rather than dragging the couch all the way back and rearranging everything all the way it was I just put everything on the wall it was closest to really oh my God, she owns it. So many heartbreaks Goes back to 2014 And I think that she knows it And if you've seen her I know that you would believe it Cause I, I know that you'd want her to Yeah, I do Everyone 
everyone's taking their shot but missing out on the cut i think she knows that she drives some crazy when she's looking like that the way she's moving makes them want it so bad it's the attention that we wish that we had yeah it's almost cruel cause i want her to oh yeah i'm running in circles just to make her She's so fly, knows how to write a good song At least better than this Cause if you've seen her, I know that you would believe it Cause I, I know that you'd want her to Yeah, I do Come on and give it a shot But you'll be missing the cut I think she knows that She drives them crazy when she's looking like that She's moving, makes them want it so bad It's the attention that we wish that we had Yeah, it's almost cruel Cause I want her to Oh yeah, I'm running in circles just to make her She knows that kitchen which is the room that gets the worst during a makeover whenever i what's it called backslide on cleaning i don't know <laughs> whenever i don't clean as well as i should or for as long as i should like in a routine or anything like that the kitchen gets the worst and that's because my dining room is the catch-all space of my entire house the kitchen is is smaller so while there it is nasty and it, like it's it's full right now it looks worse than it is sometimes not in this case but sometimes because it is i have very little counter space to actually work on all the counters that i have that i could work on are too tall for me <laughs> it's the island so i have a very little counter space that i can actually reach to work on so it gets cluttered really really quickly
lot of questions about how these countertops are holding up and they're holding up really well things do get in the cracks and the crevices of them because it's faux butcher block i guess you could say i couldn't really afford butcher block within my kitchen makeover budget that i had a little while back it was like what a year maybe now i don't know how long it was but i couldn't really afford butcher block within that makeover so i put a bunch of pieces of wood together to give it the illusion because we're all about illusions over here in this house apparently <laughs> to give it the illusion that it was butcher block so things do get down in the crevices and i have to use that dusting stuff we have a can of that duster that always on hand because shane has a bunch of collectibles and stuff that he uses it on and his electronics and game systems and stuff so i usually every once in a while take it through there and just like spray it real good and get all the stuff out of there it's not really bad though most of it i can get with a rag and some cleaner and just wash off the top of it the thing that's bothering me about it is not has nothing to do with the countertops but it's the sink <laughs> i redid the sink whenever i did the countertops because i was trying to do it on a budget and i spray painted it with it was like epoxy or appliance epoxy or something like that it didn't do good at all and i even sanded and y'all know i hate sanding i sanded that daggone sink and it did not do good it looks like it's been beat up <laughs> so I, it was good though because it let me know that i did not want a white sink i thought i wanted a white sink no i did not want a white sink i can't stand a white sink i want either stainless steel or black probably stainless steel though i miss how satisfying it looked whenever i clean my sink and see all the soap suds and everything and on the white it just looks turdy <laughs> i don't like it so while the appliance paint on the sink was a major fail the silver lining of it was it made me realize i didn't want a white sink before i went and spent a lot of money on a white sink <laughs> so i'm not all that mad at it my scrub daddies for literally everything but for some reason i had got this from one of you guys sent it to me a long time ago this little brush thing that i clean out my sink with and i'm cleaning these things with and i love it it has just worked so well and i keep sanitizing it over and over so i don't ever have to throw it away but it comes in handy because you put soap in the bottom of it and then you just push it down and like it suds up and it, it makes cleaning my sink so easy and i don't have to use two of my scrub daddies and i can save it for whenever one scrub daddy gets old and i need to replace it Y'all are sitting on a toilet paper roll, one of the random ones that were chilling around the house. I gotta break my massive cleaning thing because it is Sunday evening at six o'clock and I need to get dinner going. So I'm gonna do real quick and easy hamburgers. 
uh, probably barbecue burgers because we like barbecue sauce on our hamburgers, cheeseburgers. If you never try barbecue sauce on your cheeseburger, oh my gosh. Dollywood has the best barbecue jello. It's like barbecue, it's barbecue jam and it sounds disgusting. Or it's bacon jam. Bacon jam? Bacon barbecue jam. It sounds disgusting, but it's so good. So we're gonna have like probably barbecue, bacon, barbecue burger, something like that. And then I'm gonna make baked potatoes in the air fryer and I've never done that before, so we're gonna figure out how to do that. So quick break and then we're back at it. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side away. I bought this big old pot at Ross thinking, oh, I need it because I have a big family. How am I supposed to wash it? I'm going to have to, I'm going to, I'm going to wash it so good to back up. There's no, there's no way I can, there's no way. My is getting more washed in this thing. I'm getting more bathed in this thing. Jeez Louise. I think I've changed my mind on wanting to use this today. If I had any more mixing bowls right now, no more mixing bowls, so I had no choice. Feel the air get thinner. I'm standing in a blurry dream. No one else can see us. So let us dance this side away. around because it's the only tote that's staying out it's my everyday decor and while i'm not decorating right now i'm leaving my house as bare and as a clean slate as i possibly can for a while so i can really get a vision as to what i want to do in here i want to do something a little new but still want to incorporate what i i'd had before the christmas stuff so i'm gonna leave it blank a blank space so i can really visualize or try to visualize what i really want to do in the living room so i'm leaving that tote out because it's my everyday decor and i know i'm going to be using stuff out of that and I don't want to have to go digging for it out of the bathroom when I need it. <laughs> Passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so new, so I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky.
recruited six foot two Shane to help with the high places. makeover my kiddos were in charge of this bathroom and it was actually surprisingly not as bad as i thought it was going to be i was expecting to come in here and clothes and towels to be all over the floor but other than the stuff on the sink that was should have been put up and the trash it wasn't that bad i don't don't blame them for trying to avoid the trash because that trash was about as piled up as and as high as my daughter's <laughs> so i don't blame them it took a lot of effort to get that trash out of there y'all probably saw that <laughs> so i'm just going through and taking all the christmas stuff down and giving it a good wipe down good clean 
and mopping the floors and stuff. I did actually find their spare toothbrushes I've been looking for in my bedroom later on in this video while I'm cleaning it. So y'all don't see that, but I actually transfer uh, or I changed the toothbrushes, old toothbrushes out and put the new ones in because those toothbrushes have been used for too long. So I just changed those out and that's basically it. it the, this bathroom didn't take but 30 minutes. So that helped me out a lot. The other part of the house took a long time, but the bathroom, this bathroom was fairly quickly done. I'm somewhere in the middle, try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle of the future and what's been. Guess it's the way it goes and I will never know why you let me go. Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff not that it's not on brand for me. <laughs> Fearfully created brand is a crooked butt crack. Let's just let's just get that out there. <laughs> but my butt crack has been crooked this whole daggone video. girl's bedroom makeover we used those cubby holes out of my closet that was holding all of this stuff my extra cleaning stuff remember that that hefty stash i was telling you all about at the beginning of the video that's this <laughs> it was all in my closet i had our extra bath stuff our extra cleaning stuff and then just random stuff on those cubby holes in my closet for storage well we used those to save on the girl's budget for their makeover and we were left with a really disarrayed closet so i used the little four cubby hole thing what is shane doing i used the little four oh he had he had posh soap and he said it was really expensive so he, apparently he was acting regal with it <laughs> but i used um the four cubby hole uh tan one that was 
tan cubby hole thing that was in the girl's bedroom before we did the makeover and I put it back in the closet just so that I could have something to store that stuff on. I plan to do a huge closet renovation and that goes for the kids closets too. We're completely transforming our closet area because in 2023 we are worrying about space over anything over aesthetics over uh beautified projects we're worried about storage because there is no point in making this house beautiful if i just crowd it up with stuff and nothing is organized and everything just gets disorganized like it does now i want to have a routine set i want to have a proper storage method to where I know where everything goes and I'm not just transferring stuff around. I'm using this cereal crunch candle. It smells just like fruity pebbles <laughs> it smells just like it it has a wood wick i i love this thing like i usually don't like fruity smells but this smells like cereal and i happen to just love cereal so i love this thing a lot i'm gonna go through my room get everything out of here that doesn't need to be out of here we're gonna put the rest of this christmas stuff under the bed and in the bathroom where it goes we were able to fit all that stuff under the bed and in the bathroom too so i'm just going through and i'm clearing out the floors then i'm gonna make the bed I'm gonna fix up my bookshelves and the homeschooling card a little bit vacuum and then we're practically done with the room the room wasn't terrible it's been much much worse i struggle with keeping my room clean and that goes for a lot of reasons it really does like I just I can't it's hard for me to establish routines I've established a routine of making my bed most days I think I've only missed three days in 2023 of making my bed and that's huge for me because I used to I was somebody who never made their bed I saw no point in it because you're just getting right back in there <laughs> but it does make my room feel a lot cleaner and it just makes it feel more cozier in here when the bed's made when we're not in it so I've been trying to do that and I've been trying to slowly establish routines in small increments so I'm not overwhelming myself so that it'll be something that I can actually keep up with and continue to do and it not just be like a phase. So that's what I've been trying to do when it comes to different areas in my house. My bedroom is really, really hard because as a kid, my bedroom was so dirty. You couldn't even walk through it. It was nasty. Like it was so cluttered. Nanny would just stand at the door and holler at me. <laughs> like she would just stand there and be like, Maria, are you over there beyond that crud? <laughs> like, are you over there beyond that mess? <laughs> that's literally, you couldn't hardly walk in my room. So I've kind of just been used to neglecting my room and my space and that's not a good thing to do especially when you're married and you have a spouse and you share a space with them we remade this room to be Shane's dream room and he absolutely loves it like he will tell you his favorite room in the house is this room he loves it so in 2023 I have made up my mind I'm not budging on it that I am going to keep this room clean if I can't do it for myself then I can do it for Shane because I, I want him to be able to sit and enjoy this room and be comfortable and have fun and not be surrounded with clutter clutter doesn't bother Shane as much as it bothers me Shane could literally sit in the middle of a cluttered room and it not even phase him <laughs> it does not bother him but but for my sake, I want him to just be able to come in here and relax after a rough day. I don't know what he's doing. He keeps doing stuff. And I didn't even know he was doing this stuff while we were filming. But, um... I want him to be able to just come in here and relax and just enjoy the rest of his day because he usually comes in here late in the evening at night and he's up at night playing video games and stuff to kind of unwind before he goes to bed. So I want it to look really good in here for him. I'm getting, I love those vacuum lines by the way. Oh my gosh, I love those vacuum lines. Shane does have a lot of stuff over there, but I love how he keeps his stuff uncluttered. I said, we need to start applying that method to the rest of our stuff in our house because you go in here and there's a lot but you he knows where everything's at and that's kind of what I want to do like I want to have you know what I want to have I don't want to limit myself on the things I have you know realistically like um but I want to know where things are I hate going around and being like am I out of cleaner do I have cleaner do I have extra cleaner well I can't get into the closet to see if I have extra cleaner so that's like what I'm trying to work on in 2023 as well as an array of things this is what the bedroom looks like after we got it undecorated and cleaned this this is what the kids bathroom looks like after we got it undecorated and clean if you're wondering why you haven't seen my bathroom in a while it's because it needs a total overhaul makeover 
the hallway is nice and clean the kitchen is nice and clean i was so happy and felt so relieved once i got all this done the living room looks bare and it looks like a show house and it looks like nobody lives here <laughs> but i did that on purpose because we're gonna go in and transform it i'm so happy that i got all this done and while it was a big old task it was worth every minute of it to walk in here and it smelled good and it feel clean Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a blessed morning. Even not, whatever it is, wherever you're at, know that I love you. But Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later.